Okay, so now it's time for us to explore into Litecoin and boy, it like so just epic. It, it saw an 85% upswing in less than four days starting on 6th November, right? Uh, yeah, but before we actually get into it, uh, if you love the content that we put out, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Uh, and if you like what I do, you can follow me on Twitter at Mangeko with the zero at the end. I post a lot of technical stuff, trades that I take, trades that I'm planning to take. So back to Litecoin. So there's no pattern for Litecoin per se, but from a price action perspective, it is currently hovering at the 50 fib, that is roughly around 260 fib, I mean $260. Uh, of this range here, which ranges from roughly 413 to 104, right? This range's midpoint is where Litecoin is currently at. So uh, what I'm expecting for Litecoin is a retest of 232, probably, if not uh, 237 uh, is what I'm expecting, right? Uh, and th the reason why I'm expecting it to head down probably eight, even 9% is because it, First thing is the FIB here. Uh, although it did overextend above uh, this level here, uh, it got rejected by this supply zone here, ranging from 281 to 296. And this massive wick suggests that there was a lot of profit taking and that the sellers are in control right now. So I'm expecting it to retest either of these two levels here, which would be a good point to buy, depending on how the market is right now. But if things worsen, then I would reconsider my thesis, right? But for now, the current perspective of the market uh, indicates that all coins are pretty strong right now and that this uh, a dip into this level would be a good buy opportunity. So from here, I'm expecting Litecoin to uh, take another jab at the, the 50 fib here, retest this as a support level, and then finally break above this. Uh, but the thing is, there's, there's, there's a lot of consolidation that took place here before it actually uh, dropped on May 19th. So I'm expecting a, a bit of resistance uh, around these levels here. So I would say anywhere between 278 to 326 is where I'm expecting uh, a lot of resistance. So let me just extend this down to this. So this, this level is where I'm expecting Litecoin to face a lot of problem. Uh, but once we clear this, I think it's it's easy to say that we're going to reach 400 pretty quickly and then move beyond that after that. Uh, this is really an interesting uh, thing for me to watch because Litecoin is usually the coin that moves a little late. It doesn't move. It allows a lot of coins to do that and capital rotation into Litecoin usually happens at the end, uh, just before the meme coins pump. And like there's a term that people use, uh, people call Litecoin Dynacoin on Twitter. So because it's it's ancient. And yeah, so th this pump here that, that we saw, the 54% upswing is really uh, interesting. But other than that, I think Litecoin is in a pretty good spot. Uh, a nine to 8% retracement is what you should expect from it. Uh, as for the upswing, I think this is a good spot to enter, but uh, confirmation will arrive after close about 260. And then there's going to be a, quite a bit of consolidation that happens here at 226 if, you know, things proceed slow. But if there's a lot of volatility capital rotation happening, then you can expect Litecoin to just zoom past this uh, and then consolidate above 326, right? But either way, I think things are looking good for Litecoin. You can expect at least, if we get down here, a 37% upswing for Litecoin in the mid to short term scenario. 